all kinds of wrestlers have come forward and said the same thing I've said. And the reason they've all said that is because it's the truth. CNN is all for the Me Too movement, right? Well, it turns out their enthusiasm about justice for women varies depending on what political party you're in. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. Two congressmen have recently been accused of either knowing about or committing sexual assault in their past. Ohio Republican Jim Jordan and Minnesota Democrat Keith Ellison. Jordan was accused on July 3rd of knowing about a college wrestling doctor who was sexually abusing athletes, but not doing anything about it. Quote, Congressman Jordan never saw any abuse, never heard about any abuse, and never had, and never had any abuse reported to him during his time as coach at Ohio State. Within 10 hours of the accusation, CNN had spent more than 25 on-air minutes covering it. But then when the accusations were proven false on August 9th, CNN only spared a single minute to talk about it. Now, let's compare that to Keith Ellison's case. Unlike Jordan, Ellison is accused of actually committing domestic abuse against his ex-girlfriend. And the accusations are as credible as any, with three witnesses coming forward to say that they were told of the abuse after the relationship ended. But how did CNN cover it? Well, the accusations surfaced on August 12th, and by two days later, CNN had only devoted four minutes and 21 seconds to Ellison's scandal, less than one-fifth the time devoted to Jordan's now defunct scandal. This is exactly what Trump supporters mean when they say fake news. Not you. Your organization's terrible. Your organization's terrible. Let's go. Go ahead. Quiet. Quiet. Go ahead. She's, she's asking a question. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. CNN didn't lie when they covered Jim Jordan, and they didn't lie when they covered Keith Ellison. But when you're claiming to be a nonpartisan news organization, but you spend five-fold as much time on a Republican scandal compared to a similar Democrat scandal, there is an obvious bias. Either CNN needs to drop the facade and admit they're a liberal outlet, or start reporting the news fairly. And now, let's go to some of your comments. GL Rockwell says, I could go for a good civil war. No. Miriam Quinta talking about our video on 3D printed guns says, Really? Now every gun nut could pass them through security gates and kill as many people as possible. This is another money making machine for this administration. What does that even mean? What is he going to make money off of? I'm super confused. Like, what does she think Trump gets money for every every 3D printed gun that is printed? And also, they're not undetectable. They all have little pieces of metal in them, so. Greg Olson says, huh, I wonder if the Q team in the NSA might be the Q everyone is talking about. Smiley face with the nose. He added the nose and the smiley face. That's pretty impressive. You know, I've never thought of it. You're totally right. QAnon is real. Good job. Thanks for watching and be sure to like us here at the DCNF Presents the Facts and our friends over at American Voices and The Daily Caller. Thanks for watching.